Hey, what's up guys, Tommy here, back again with another video, and today I feel like going on a nice long ride on this here Suron X. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm interested in testing the range of this bike, I wanna see how far I can go before the battery hits 20%. So for this test, I'll just be riding how I normally do. I'll be doing a mix of off-road riding as well as road riding, I'll be going up and down hills, and overall I'm just gonna have a fun time and I'm not gonna worry about where and how fast I go. So before we get into this video, I want to ask you guys to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a nice comment for more videos like this. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so Start workout. we just started our uh, GPS. And uh, I'm going to put this camera into time warp mode. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys when I get down to 80%. So the reason we're taking the battery down to 20% instead of zero for this range test is because once this bike reaches 20%, it sort of engages a slow mode, and that's usually a cue that you're gonna wanna turn around and start heading home. So I'm gonna show you guys how far you can go before you reach that point. Quite the hill. Oh, I almost fell. That was spooky. <laughs> uh, let's try that jump again, though. Yeah, that's kind of a sketchy jump. It, it's, it looks under, it looks unassuming, but that is a really, really sketchy jump. Anyways, let's kick back into that time warp. Alright, so let's check our status. We're currently at 79%. And we have gone 4.95 miles. So we've gone almost 5 miles. Um, now I started this uh, at 98%. So I guess we can call that 5 miles. Um, and we've had an average pace per mile of 4 minutes and 6 seconds. Um, I guess essentially meaning we've gone an average of 15 miles per hour, which I've been basically wide open, but average means, you know, I, I've stopped a couple of times. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's keep going. Um, I'm riding through a sort of hilly area right now. Um, so yeah, let's go back to time warp.
see we have one of these uh, bars right here, which is supposed to stop you from getting through, but you can get the surround over these pretty darn easily. And you can bring it right on over. This one's a bit taller than usual, but bring up the back. Here we go. Uh-oh. There we go. And we're over. All right. All right, so as you can see, we are down to 62%. Um, I didn't take it to 60 because I found this nice little spot right here. I thought 62 was enough. Um, let's see how far we have gone. And it looks like we've gone a distance of 9.94 miles, so almost 10 miles. And uh, guys, I'm, on a, I'm honestly riding a lot faster um, than I normally do. Uh, as you can see, four minutes and 13 seconds is the average pace. Um, per mile um and I'm, I'm absolutely letting it loose here so uh yeah this is definitely a uh, minimum range test um but anyways let's get back into it Looks like Sony added some dumps here. <laughs> Somebody added some bunkers there. There we go. This is a pretty wicked hill climb. All right, so as you can see, we are at 42%. Um, I haven't noticed the bike really slowing down much. Um, I noticed when I was on the straightaways that I'm not quite reaching the top speed, um, but it still feels pretty pretty good uh, in the low end. Um, let's see, we have gone 15.59 miles. Yeah, without further ado, let's get back to it. Uh, we have 20% to go. Uh, we're down to 39%. I'll update you guys at 20% and uh, I'll be at my home uh, then. And we're going to go over all of our data uh, and everything. 
All right, so we've reached home so we can talk about our results now. So we went 21.23 miles, taking the battery down to 20%. And what I noticed during this whole range test is we did a lot of riding on open roads, basically pinning the throttle going above 30 miles per hour. So this was definitely more of a minimum range test um, instead of just an average range test. I was definitely going a lot faster than I normally do. So, you know, if you're going slower, doing off-roading, you definitely get more range than that. So another important piece of information is our elevation gain. As you can see, we reached a max elevation of 563 feet. So we're definitely going uphill a lot of the time, especially on those long open roads. Uh, this is an important piece of data because if you live in a more hilly area, it's something you might want to consider, you know, if you're thinking of buying a bike like this. Now, usually people are going to give you a different answer if you were to ask them how far they can go on their Suron X. The reason for this is everybody has a slightly different riding style. Some people like to go fast. Some people like to go slow. Some people like to do off-roading. Some people like to wheelie in the middle of the road. My point being, this range test is really just to give you some perspective. If you're riding this certain way, this is how far you're going to go before you reach 20%. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and leave a nice comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.